The Constitution Review Consultative Committee is set up by the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs, Osei Menzabuz, who has recommended scrapping Article 68.5 of the 1992 Constitution to impose on the President a duty to pay tax on his salary and emolument to serve as an example to the rest of the citizenry. The committee believes that this move will reflect the principle of equality before the law. There's more in this report. The 1992 Constitution has no doubt served a good purpose in the last three decades. However, some stakeholders are of the opinion that the assumptions underpinning some provisions no longer hold or conform to the current socio-political realities. This underlies calls for a review of the Constitution. To this end, the Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Oseiche Mensa in April 2023, inaugurated the Constitution Consultative Review Committee, chaired by Clara Kasati, mandated to review the 2011 report of the Constitution Review Commission, review submissions, proposals and reports of other constitutional review platforms and make recommendations to the Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs and its partners. During a stakeholders' engagement in Parliament on Thursday, the former Member of Parliament for Tamale Central, Inu Safuseni, highlighted excerpts of the findings of the committee. They've recommended that the abolishment of they've recommended the abolishment of all positions related to deputy ministerial positions. So, which Ghana should not have deputy ministers? They also have recommended that Ghana should not have regional ministers. They say that it, it flouts equity rules where the uh, president, uh, president receives money from the public purse and not pay tax on his, uh, on his uh, emoluments. They recommend that an amendment to the constitution to allow the president to pay tax now, they also think on the legislature, they are of the view, the considered view, that our parliament should be capped. And they are proposing a cap of 277. The committee also recommended that members of parliament who are appointed as ministers of state ought to resign as legislators. They said, the ministers of state can be appointed from parliament or outside parliament. And they've introduced a new provision which says that where a minister of state is appointed from parliament, that minister must resign his position. That is their recommendation. As MP, yes, from parliament. You can only be in parliament as MP. <laughs> and then there will be a by-election. Well, that's, so that is our recommendation. We will discuss that as we go on. But that is, a, that is a, what they are recommending. However, the first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Joseph Oseo Wusu, and the MP for Zabela Kletus Avoka hold a different opinion about calls for a review of the Constitution. I was a member of the Consultative Assembly that drew up the 1992 Constitution with young man Forsen, who was a very young man from the university at the time. And uh, I, I stand to correction, but I think that is one of the best cons uh, uh, constitutions that we have drafted in this uh, country. And that is why it has lasted 32, 34 years without any blemish. And I want to associate myself with uh, Honorable Dr. Ini, that our problem is not the constitution. Our, compro our problem is the individual, is the Ghanaian leader. Many of the provisions in the Constitution are abused more in practice I mean, than in practice. They, they, they are not observed. They, they, they are honored in the preach than in the observance. And that is the problem that we have. The critical thing, Honorable Minister, is that unless we work on the values of the Ghanaian, we will get to nothing. If we don't work on building integrity, building um, respect for uh, public property, public interest, ethics. We are joking because if you change the law and I am dishonest, whatever means I'll use to get my advantage, I'll use it. So my view is that we should spend more time on discussing 
how can we get the average Ghanaian to be responsible, to be loyal to the state? The committee in its draft report has proposed that the government sets up a non-partisan technical committee to assist with the implementation process once all recommendations and amendments are accepted. However, it dreads that the 2024 general elections could pose as a challenge to its implementation. Reporting from Parliament for Channel 1 News, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okai.